Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Stellar brand pretzel braids. I have the Simply Stellar, the Maui Monk. Now this is the Bold and Herby and Sweet and Sparky. These were $4.99 each at Kroger. They were on a display uh, near the uh, potato chip aisle, uh, the snack aisle where you would find pretzels, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, I believe I said it during the grocery haul when we bought these. I would swear I've seen this brand at World Market. I could be wrong, but they look very familiar, and I thought, well, we need to try these. So, Stellar Pretzel Braid, Simply Stellar Original Vegan Butter Braid with Sea Salt. Uh, baked with love in the USA. This is a 12-ounce bag. Uh, they are made in Carson City, Nevada. Stellar, uh, StellarSnacks.com. It says about 12 pretzels, 1 ounce, 28 grams is 110 calories. So that's good. Mm -hmm. that's so it's about the same as a Pringle, about 10 calories each, right? They're a good size. Yeah, they, look good. Mm -hmm. they smell buttery, honestly. They smell like, it smells they like butter. Smell like butter. They've been around since 2019. Mm -hmm. Nice crunch. They're peanut free and vegan. To me, that tastes like a very buttery pretzel. Mm -hmm. You do get the butter. Mm -hmm. um, there's not a ton of salt on them, but that's okay. It's, it's, it's still fine. I like a little bit more salt on my pretzel, but. I do too. There is salt on it, yeah. so you do get it but I would like a little bit more salt. Yeah, this is more buttery than salty. Yes, I agree. Yeah, but it's, good it's like you melted butter, and it's like these have um, sat in melted butter. Yeah. That's, they're very buttery. Like you got a big bowl of pretzel twists and just mm -hmm. melt the butter and then let them dry out or bake them a little bit or something. But those yeah. are nice. Yeah, they're really nice. Really nice texture and everything. They're not hard or anything like that. Okay, this <laughs> is the Maui Monk. Okay. These say vegan butter braid with Maui onion style seasonings and monk fridge. So we, we, we are a little lighter. They look like uh, they have more of a coating on them. Yeah. And uh, we like the Maui onion. Mm. These are uh, one ounce, 20, uh, 28 grams is 120 calories. Very I love strong that. onion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that flavor. Don't eat these and go talk to anybody. Yeah. No. Because <laughs> they're very oniony. No, it has, um, yes, but it's it's not, um, it's, it's, it is that Maui, it, it's, I want to say it's a sweet onion, but then again, there's some strength there too. There's, it, it has some sweetness to it though, as well, so it's kind mm -hmm. of a mix of both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah, it's kind of got that sulfury kind of onion bite, but then mm -hmm. it's got that sweetness from like a Vidalia onion almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vidalia. I love those. Those are really good. I don't know where the monk comes in. Maybe just add that little touch of sweetness. I don't I don't know. I love the amount of salt on that too. Mm -hmm. So right. not only do you get that. Uh, and there's a little butteriness to it. Yeah, you, you get the onion, but you also get the salt. So the salt that was lacking in this one, right. the first one, they really made up for it. Yeah, next yeah, one. those are those are really really That's, nice. Yeah, so far those are winning. <laughs> yeah. I like Can't beat that. Okay, this one is the Bold and Herby Vegan Butter Braid seasoned with roasted garlic onion oh, wow. and fruit. So they've added in some garlic. Okay, this is also 120 calories for an ounce. They're all slightly different color, not much. Not do. much, yeah. Okay. This one doesn't have the the powder like the onion one did, so the flavor is a lot less. Mm. I am getting the garlic. I am too. Especially after the second one. Yeah. 
Yeah, it definitely tastes like a roasted garlic, but the onion is not coming through as strong. Yes, so, but that's, that's, I think that's probably good because if they had put that same strength of onion in there. Oh yeah, they would have had to triple the garlic. <laughs> exactly. So, those, the Maui on, onion on their own are perfect. Mm -hmm. I think these on their own are really nice. Yeah. I think it's, it's a nice level garlic and onion. Yeah. It's not too much of either, honestly. The garlic could have been a little bit stronger for me. It could have been, but then again, you don't want to go overboard either and make it too Exactly. Strong, so. so, honestly, I like it the way it is. I yeah. think it's perfect. Um, it w I would be hard-pressed to choose between the two. <clears throat> I would probably be weird. Um, I would probably just put those in a bowl and mix them together. Oh, well, the eat onion, them together. The Try onion, it. The, well, let me get a Because I'm wondering if you did do that, if you're lo going to lose all your garlic. Maybe, because the garlic's not Because that onion anyway. is so strong. Like I said, not in a bad way. It's not like, uh, sometimes, you know, you can get a really strong onion and like on, uh, when we go to Culver's to eat, we always remove the onion from the cheeseburger because it's too strong. Mm -hmm. That's not like this. This is a sweet onion. So when I say it's strong, I don't mean it like it's offensive. Now you still get a little bit of that garlic flavor. You, you do? Yeah. So you like them both together? Yeah, but I mean, I would just put in them all together and just randomly pick them so they're going back and forth. Right. Okay, this is sweet and sparky. It uh, vegan butter braid seasoned with spicy uh, buffalo, buffalo bl blend and nut fruit. Oh yeah, those are a little bit red. Okay, these are 120 calories as well. Wow. You immediately get that that vinegar. Mm -hmm. And then it turns into heat. <laughs> mm. Yes. Uh, those are too hot for me. Wow. They are for me too, but Whoa. but they are that true buffalo sauce flavor. Like if you get Frank's Red Hot Sauce and taste just the Red Hot Sauce, that is that flavor. But mm -hmm. it's, And it's that heat level too. Ooh. Yeah, but usually there's some... It's not that hot for me. Buffalo is not that hot for well, me. Well, you're usually not eating it like raw. I'm saying if you if you were to just take a little dip of just Frank's Red Hot Sauce by itself, that's what it's like. Yeah, like we usually tried... Usually it's mixed in with stuff. We tried, uh, recently mm -hmm. tried the, uh, the Cheetos Buffalo, mm -hmm. and I think these are hotter. I they think, are... I think this is a lot hotter. They are a stronger hitting for sure, uh -huh. and they last longer. Yeah, this is like... like Where the Cheetos was kind of like a... It kind of was there and it went away. Uh -huh. This is there. Yeah, this... You need to be ready to dip these into something. Or take a drink of them. Or take a drink of something. <laughs> like... like uh, Milk or um, No, people like to dip this in a... Oh, range dressing. Y yeah. You need to be ready to dip that in something because it is super, super, super hot. Yeah. I do like that initial... Uh, burst of the vinegar because mm -hmm. you get that a lot at first, but then once that heat hits, it's all heat. Yeah, and all heat. for me, the flavor totally left, and it's just like it's burning so bad I can't even taste anything. Yeah, like I said, the the taste was just like that that buffalo sauce, but then mm -hmm. it, it really quickly turns into heat. But if you like that level of heat, yeah. you're gonna if you like flaming hot stuff, yeah. you're going to love. Yeah, they it. delivered on it. Yes, and, they did. And the flavor is good. While it lasted for us, <laughs> it was good. It just kind of went away quickly for us because the heat built up. Okay, they're four ninety nine dollars each. So oh, the onion one. You know, I think you're getting a good deal though because oh, this yeah, is a big bag. It's, it's, size it's, size. it's a really good size bag, and I do like that they're resealable mm -hmm. bags because most of the times when you buy a bag of pretzels at the store, it's in like a regular potato chip bag, yeah. and you have to roll it down and clip it. These you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. You can leave them out there in the the on the couch or whatever, and they're not going to make a mess. So what's your favorite? The onion. Maui onion's my favorite yeah. too. Maui. And then garlic, uh, what's that one called? Bold and herby. Those two would be uh, my favorite. Yeah, because the, the salted ones are, are okay. Just they're just, I mean, they're just pretzel. It is very buttery. It though. is a good buttery It is pretzel. buttery. It's, you don't get like a regular, like rolled gold, just the regular pretzels right. are not buttery like this. No, this, this is, is more like those. Yeah. What are those called? Dots or... Yeah. The, they remind you a little yeah. bit of those, but those have other seasonings. Those right? have this seasonings, This is a truly... Yeah. Just like a buttery butter bread. Pretzel. Yeah. Um, For me, these are too hot. If they had been a little less hot, that uh -huh. would have been my number two. 
Really? Yeah, because because I really do like that buffalo flavor. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, they're too hot to enjoy for, right. for me. Right. So if they dropped the heat level a little bit, I would have enjoyed those as a number two. But I don't blame them for not doing that. I, no, I, I they need a version for the hot yeah, people that I, like the hot. I food. agree. So if you like hot, just know yeah. that there you go. Uh, but we've only seen these. I think Kroger. I mean, I know Kroger. Maybe World Market. Maybe not, I could be wrong. Uh, but you'll have to let us know if you've seen them in your stores in your area. So I will have a picture for you at the end. There's slight differences, yep. but I'll take a picture for you. And thanks for watching.